ladies, gentlemen, and quitters of all ages, welcome back. After that time lapse, I did a bit more. I built a permanent base and just gathered up some resources. I think I was still in the middle of working on my base when I quit last, but we're here in the title screen just so I can show you that we are indeed playing on hardcore once again. And to see that we have 12 hours and 28 minutes in this world. Um, it's about, it's like slightly more than half of what we had the last time. I think we had like 20 something hours when we died last time. Uh, but let's take a look at what I've built so far. So we have trusty old warper fister here. Uh, we have a ton of reinforcement. And this is all I have for storage right now. I haven't really... I haven't really put too much care into making storage. Uh, but yeah, we are down here where I said it would be cool to build a base last time. We are right next to the ghost leviathan egg tree thing. And I just built this really long hallway because I wanted to try and build like the storage room down in the mist stuff there. Uh, but it, it's not deep enough, so I'm going to have to do something else for that. And over here, we have the main area. We don't have a huge power tower this time. Uh, you might be able to see it from here. We have a whole bunch of those. Oh, what are they called? It's, this isn't that difficult. I don't know why I can never remember things. They are... Thermal plants. <laughs> That's so easy to remember, and yet I couldn't. Have our water filtration machine here. Up here we have some plants that I've just been using for food. Oh, I meant to eat all four of those there. And then we have another window here. Where we can look kind of out on the base. And over here we have our scanner room, which I've just been using to find big nodes and then go out and get with the bronze suit there. And then up here we just have uh, power cell chargers, battery charger, modification station, and our fabricator. And we can look out on the base from up here as well and up at the tree. And it looks really cool with all these guys swimming about. Mm -hmm. So, we're not going to do anything today. Uh, the main point of this entire episode was just that uh, time lapse and just that just us getting back to here. Uh, yeah, we just have some plants here that are hard to find where we are. If we come up here into the cyclops. Oh, I thought I turned all the lights off because to save power. I don't know if it does. It just made me feel better. Uh, we have a whole bunch of junk still in here. Just like some random shit. I don't remember what all this is for. Uh, are we wasting power? Uh, no, we're not. Okay. Um, yeah, we have some plants in here that I was just growing uh, for my journey down here. The bed... These are all the upgrades we have in it. I think I, uh, I showed me making all of these. I don't know about depth module, but we do need the depth module mark two uh, before we go anywhere because currently if we go too close to the ground, uh, we start taking damage because our crush depth right now is 900 meters. And I actually had uh, an instance of one of these jelly rays push the cyclops down and it was like sparking and I was in the base and I was like, what the hell? And I ran up here and I was like, yeah, you're too far down. Like, How? But anyways, yeah. I didn't get the uh, Cyclops... Oh, what's it called? Thermal charger thing? Just because it was in the mountains and like by the time I got down here, I was like, mm, I'll just make a whole bunch of power cell chargers in my base. That'll be good enough. Uh, and it's worked so far, although I haven't really done anything. <clears throat> with the Cyclops since I got here. Uh, I do have a whole bunch of, like, backup power cells in here. Which are... Two of which are empty. <laughs> it's not a very good backup. Um, yeah. 
I'll probably move all... I'm not sure if I'll move this stuff into a storage room. Just because... If, if I die, I don't want to have all that time, extra time wasted. Like, that's why I didn't, like, build the base super huge and, like, elaborate this time. And I didn't even bring the Seamoth over here. Like, we have a Seamoth. It's just back at base. Um, like, at the first base. I, don't, I think I even picked up the thing just so I wouldn't be tempted to go back there and get it. Yeah, I don't even see it anymore. But, yeah. Uh, these will generate more power based on how hot they are and if we get too close we can see that it is very hot but we have the reinforced dive suit on so uh we won't take a lot of damage from being around here but it has like a temperature gauge on it this is my favorite one couldn't tell you why uh yeah this one's way hotter because it's like right on the vent it's a little cooler and yeah nothing too interesting there and i'm just uh bringing the power back with these Power, frick, I'm going to have to, power transmitter, yeah, I know what I'm talking about, <laughs> uh, yeah, and that's just connecting the, all those together and then connecting it to the base here, it just shoots into the nearest one and gives it power, and I don't know how many I have there, but it's enough to keep the base going, barely, uh, basically, I just put enough on there so I could run the Power, water, filtration, machine. <gasps> uh, yeah. I'll just in here, put those there. So, yeah, I'm not sure how long this has been, but it's going to be the end of the episode anyways. Uh, next time, we will go back down there to the active lava zone and go for round two with the Sea Dragon Leviathan. And I'm hoping it goes better this time. Or I don't know if I can... I don't know if I'll have the the willpower to play another 12 hours to get back here again. But we'll see. You never know. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just admiring the view because it looks so pretty down here. Um, is there anything else I need to mention? Uh, I'll probably get the Cyclops maxed out and then... That'll probably be it. I'll remove this huge section over here, just because we don't need it. Uh, let me just check. What do I need for the Cyclops? Mark II, Plasteel Nickel, Plasteel Kyanite. So, super easy, since I've already been down there once to gather up a whole bunch of Kyanite. And, fun fact, the Sea Dragon is closer to the entrance. Woohoo! So, I'm super excited for that. Yeah. But... This is just a quick little thing at the end here for me to show you the base, because I kind of wanted to keep it a secret. Like, oh, where's he putting his base? He's at the entrance to the Lost River. Well, I'm sure you all, anyone watching, guessed that I was going to put it down here. Um, yeah. But, I said this was the end of the video and then talked for another two minutes. I swear I know what I am doing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like. If you didn't though, that's fine. Maybe I'm just not your cup of tea. But anyways, have a fantastic rest of your day. I will see you in the next one, and goodbye for now.